tonight from FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. see Alex Smith and the Washington football team taking on Daniel Jones and the New York Giants. We are just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. The enthusiasm for football here on the East Coast always in the air. These folks are ready as their guys get set to match up with the New York Giants. from FedEx Field. Now here's Johnson. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. They'll be led out by a man who's taken a long and courageous road back to the NFL, their veteran quarterback, Alex Smith. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say a great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you. Balance. Because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. A run here for J.D. McKissick. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. On second down, here's the option. The pass. Decent run, maybe hoping for a little bit more. Does those set up third and manageable? And every play this run, if it's blocked perfectly and executed perfectly, it's set up to go for a touchdown, right? But I like the way you described that one. Just get into a third and manageable, nice decision making, and took care of the football. Smith going to throw on third and one. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. First and ten. Short yardage situation. You have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out of the backfield trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. First down, Smith. This one complete to Calvin Harmon. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Ten yards there, good for Washington first down. First and ten at the 45-yard line. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and ten at the 45-yard line. They'll run with McKissick. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was he? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge.
Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Peyton Barber. The tackle made by Blake Martinez. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders in the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. A carry for Barber, and he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. He was taken. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain, considering the blitz that they just had against them. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Here's Smith. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. A 39-yard attempt. Hopkins' kick is good. And it's 3-0 Washington. Makes Washington three, Giants nothing. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The former number six overall pick of 2019, Daniel Jones, trots out to lead this New York Giants offense. And I liked what his head coach told us about him this week, that no matter what happens, he, whether he throws seven interceptions or seven touchdown passes, he's the same assertive leader in the huddle on each and every play. He can throw the seven interceptions, just blame the football, blame anything else, and still carry himself like he is the man it's like you assertive in our production meetings well especially when we're talking talk about ordering dinner order i was snacks. just gonna say that's that's where i go jones and the giants now with a first and 10 at their own 19 yard line he'll look to throw right away and a quick throw here that's complete and he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Throwing on first down, Jones. That's complete to Slayton. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. First down, New York. They'll run for the first time with Saquon Barkley. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. 
That's complete left side to Shepard. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. It's caught. Shepard. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Nothing after one on EA Sports. Washington three, Giants nothing. In Washington territory now. Here's first and ten as they've got it to the 28-yard line. On the draw, this is Barkley. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, and they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now Jones, catch made by Slayton. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First down, Giants. Now a toss right to Barkley. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. On the carry. A 16-yard touchdown run. And the Giants have taken the lead. Well, they ran the toss, trusting he had the speed to get to the edge, and he did. And there really wasn't any doubt about that because the scouting report told you that this guy could flat out run. When you give him a little bit of space and a chance to get there, he usually does. Graham Gano on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that drive goes eight plays. And it ends with a Saquon Barkley touchdown run. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And after the field goal last time, let's see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. On first down, it's Gibson. 
And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. He was tackled. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Throwing is Smith. Connects here with a tight end, Jeremy Sprinkle. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 12 yards there and a first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide it. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. On first and ten, Smith catches made. It's Harmon. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. Another Washington first down. First and ten at the 48-yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he stopped immediately there. Darnay Holmes makes the tackle. So nothing there that time. And maybe you need to look to the O-line. They weren't able to create any space. No, they weren't. And you know as well as I do, as many offensive line coaches we've ever met, I think that'll be addressed loudly when those guys get to the sideline. And they're usually loud and big. <laughs> Throwing on second down, Smith. Now they set up the screen, that's complete. Smith five yards, now it's third and five. It's a gain of five, brings up third and five. play on the completion got them half of what they needed now here's a tough third and five now Smith and that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it it's more, more problems here on third down they've converted only once so far in this first half and you know as well as I do in this league if you don't win on third down it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense you're relying on your special teams You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. And look at this. It's a fake. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. We're all right. Just call the call. We're going to play. Forcing the incomplete pass on fourth down and then roughing the passer. Your offense was ready to roll, ready to get out on the field and take over. Instead, self-inflicted, now they have to stay on the field and play. So first and ten after a big mistake on fourth down with a penalty. They will run it. It's McKissick. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. He was taken down at the 22-yard line. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Brings up third down and four. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. From the gun, here's Smith. Got an open man, it's Harmon. And he 
gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal. Third and four is always a tough call. Maybe a little too long to run for it, but not too long to hit them on the quick slant. And that was well executed. Found the window and zipped it right in there. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. A shotgun snap for Smith. This will be caught at about the five. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Brings up second and goal at the five-yard line. Again, Smith toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Now we've got third and goal coming up, and couldn't you imagine being in that huddle, partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three. They were held to a field goal on their first drive. They want six now, but it's third and goal to the air again, Smith. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. A 27-yard attempt. And Hopkins' kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7 to 6. Washington, 6. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13 play drive. So you can sell yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal, you did a nice job there. But here's the other part 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes, you don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. We're following the made field goal for three. Hopkins now to kick it off. Now Deion Lewis to return. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Takeover first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Here's Jones on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Second and 10 now from the 27. Throwing again, Jones. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. The Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts 
As the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Riley Fourth Dixon down, so on is the punter, Riley, Riley Dixon. Steven Sims set to return it for Washington. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Out of the gun, Smith. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Start the drive, has him up near midfield here for first and ten. From the gun, Smith. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout, as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Operating from the gun, Smith. And he'll go underneath with this one to McKissick. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 29-yard line. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final play in this first half. First and 10 at the 29-yard line. So we're at halftime with our score 7-6 in a tough-fought first half. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half from the former Duke man, Daniel Jones. His guys lead, though, by only a point. It's been a tight one. As for the start of the third quarter, we'll send it back to Brandon God. All right, coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Justin Second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead, and they are set to receive this kick. And here's Lewis. And able to get this out to the 25. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The New York set to take the field. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Thank you. 
throwing Jones. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. Now Jones throwing again on second and ten. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards, now it's third and five. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. play on the completion got them half of what they needed now here's a tough third and five from the gun Jones flush to his right eight yards that time able to take off and the result is a first down and eight yards we just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations you want to protect your franchise guy make sure he doesn't get hurt he did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Uh, give to Barkley out of the gun. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They'll run it again with Barkley. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Riley Dixon now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. First possession of the second half now for Washington. Their defense just came up with a stop right out of the locker room, and now can the offense take advantage? Yeah, we don't want to turn this into something that it's not. It's only a one-score game, so it's not exactly a crucial possession. But at the same time, they'd like to get things started and at least come away with three points. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. Takes this one up past the 20 after he's able to make a man miss. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense. Picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. A carry now for McKissick. 
And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. That's good. After he cleared the line of scrimmage, nice little hole developed. Yeah, he had great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision, finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him? From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To throw is Smith. Got a man, it's Gibson complete. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Out of bounds at the it's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. On second down now, it's Gibson. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 15 yards on the play, first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. Back to throw, Smith. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. And that was a heck of a play there on the outside. Partner, sometimes I think on a play like this as a corner, You've got to think to yourself, all I've got to do is slow him down so others can come over and support. But in this case, he said, forget that. I've got this. Sorry you had to make the run for nothing, fellas. Final minute now of the third quarter. To throw again on second down. Smith. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Throwing on third down. Smith. Off to Thomas on the left side. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Complete to Logan Thomas. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. Here's Tressway now, as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. New York ready to go again offensively. The last couple of drives have ended in punts. Maybe the crowd minds that, but you're a defensive guy. You're okay with a couple of punt drives. Listen, I'm the guy that loves a 0-0 pitch game. All right, in baseball, I can handle that going into the seventh inning. I think the crowd, though, they want to see a little bit more excitement. Let's see if someone can break something free on offense and get going. Offense at a premium the last two drives. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. He'll set up the throw from the gun. Looking for Tate, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 26. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. 
that was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. They'll run on first down. Gibson. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and nine, Smith. His throw caught right around the six. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. A 20-yard touchdown. And Washington has retaken the lead. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. Smith now. Operating from the gun. That's caught. And he will get into the end zone again. And he seems to have a nose for it as he gets both the touchdown and the two-point conversion. Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And here's Lewis. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. At their own 23-yard line. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 23. And he'll throw right away. But when this ball's tipped and intercepted, picked off near the 34. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback. But as a receiver, you've got to understand where you are in the field. Middle portion, you know it's going to come in hot. Square your body to the quarterback and be ready to make the catch. And the Washington offense heading out. Now listen, it's a team game. We know that. But where would these guys be right now, Charles, without their defense? So they take over here following the turnover. Defense did it again. But on offense, they have to feel like, hey, we need to do something. You're exactly right. You just mentioned it. The defense did it again. They bailed them out on a number of occasions in this contest. It's time for them to repay the defense at the least. Keep the ball for a while. Give those guys a break so they can catch their breath. After the interception, here's Smith. 
And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Normally you think the tight end is going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. To throw again, Smith got his man complete over the middle. It's Harmon, and he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Washington on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And to give this time to the tailback. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. And scampering home from 19 yards out. And Washington able to capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Hopkins with the extra point, and it's now 21 to 7. Giants 7. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And here's Lewis. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. First and 10 at their own 29-yard line. But the focus shifts back to Daniel Jones and company. With his guys trailing here in the fourth, he can ill afford a repeat of the interception that ended the last drive. Yeah, you two scores down. You take it upon yourself now to play perfect or near-perfect football if you want to get your team back into the game. But it's also tough to do when you're trying to avoid errors, yet still play perfect football. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. Jones pass. Complete At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the Brings offensive play caller, I'm three. not just looking at my at dagger plays downfield. Line. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Operating from the gun, Jones forced out to his left. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he's trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. Jones throwing on first down. Out to the right here to Shepard. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. He'll get 15 and a Giants first down. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. From the gun, Jones. 
And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Now we've got whistles, and the man slow to get up here is the quarterback, Allen. We'll check on his status when we get back. Here now is second and ten again from the 41. Throwing again. Jones gets this out to Saquon Barkley. Now Barkley stripped of the football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. A good starting spot for Washington as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. You've got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Mike, Mike, 55. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Gibson, and he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. in the secondary now for the Giants here on third. Smith. Now they go screen. It's complete. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. First and 10 at their own 12-yard So now Jones and the Giants down by two touchdowns. Just over a minute, 40 to play. Their offense has struggled all night, and now they need to find two scores late to try to pull this thing out. Yeah. 
Jones now on first and 10. That's complete to Slayton. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Jones signaling, let's go, let's go. Try to get his guys up to the line. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A pickup of 24. And that's where the play began, the 24-yard line. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there and for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard in its second down. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's going to run off the clock. Clock rolling as the Giants will hurry to the line. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones looking sideline incomplete. Golden Tate, his intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Operating from the gun, Jones. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And Washington will take control of the football in great field position. Down to a knee, here goes Smith, and that should all but do it. So a victory here for the Washington football team. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Washington football team as we say so long from FedEx Field.